So in the last few episodes, I have been visiting a Shorin Ryu Uema Sensei and Matsubai Shiryu Shinzato Sensei and learning their kata. They both have kata called Nai Hanchi Shodan, which is the very similar kata compared to Tekki Shodan of Shotokan. So today I'd like to do a comparison between those three katas. Let's get started. Nai Hanchi Shodan. Alright, first let's start talking about the stances itself. Shotokan has the stance a little bit lower compared to the other two. However, all of us have the toes pointed forward, enabling us to twist our lower body to lock itself in place. Second of all, our hikite or the pullback hand position is slightly different. Matsubai Shiryu and Shoriryu has it slightly higher compared to Shotokan. And the last point is the step. So Shotokan and Matsubai Shiryu stepped in a large one, so you heard that sound. However, Shorinryu landed very silently and did the block. Okay, let's move on. Wow, another interesting point here. Um, mainly two things. First, with the Gedan Barai, Shotokan and Shorinryu brings it back straight down. However, Matsubai Shiryu crosses their arm and then they execute the block. This is their characteristic of Kosa, which I have discussed deeply in, I believe, episode 2 or 3. So please check that out from the um, right top corner. Next, about the Kagizuki or hook punch in English. Here, Shorinryu and Shotokan makes the impact during the wrist rotation and doesn't pull back the fist. However, Matsubai Shiryu moves their arm more like a whip or rubber, so when he punches, he makes the impact and pulls back the arm like this. So for the first sideways block, Shotoka and Shoriryu brings it straight up to the vertical position without crossing the arm. However, Matsubai Shiryu crosses it again and blocks, just like we did last time in the characteristic of Kosa. The next block is the most different one. Shoriryu and Matsubai Shiryu does a block to the Chudan and Gedan, stomach and the bottom. However, Shotoka does it to the head, Jodan and Gedan. So this is, I think, the most different part of this whole kata, Nai Hanchi and Tekki. So in this part, all three style has that same leg sweep with the inside of our leg. However, the next two blocks are slight different. Watch whether the arms are attached or detached. For the Shorinryu blocks, the first block is detached and the second one is attached. Also, they're using the back fist for the first block. As for Shotokan, it's attached and attached. It's always attached and we are rotating our body to block. However, the blocking um, part is we're using the wrist. For Matsubai Shiryu, the part they're using is the back fist and then the wrist. It's detached and detached. From here, we're just going to repeat the things we did to the left side, to the right side now.
If you notice anything else that was different, then please comment that down below. And if your style also has naihanji or teki, please let me know your you know original techniques within that kata. Maybe it's the leg movements or how you rotate the wrist for a certain block. Thank you so much for watching all the way till the end, and I'll see you guys in the next video.